How long can you survive bone cancer? If you or someone you know has been diagnosed with bone cancer, one of the first questions that comes to mind is, how long can you survive with this condition? The answer isn't simple because it depends on several factors. First, let's talk about the different types of bone cancer. There are several, including osteosarcoma, chondrosarcoma, Ewing sarcoma, and chordoma. Each of these types has its own survival rates. For osteosarcoma, which is a common type of bone cancer, especially in young people, the five-year relative survival rate varies. If the tumor is localized and hasn't spread beyond the bone, the survival rate is about 76%. If it has spread to nearby tissues or lymph nodes, the rate drops to around 64%. And if it has spread to distant parts of the body like the lungs or other bones, the survival rate is about 24%. Chondrosarcoma, another type of bone cancer, has a better outlook. For localized chondrosarcoma, the five-year relative survival rate is around 91%. If it is spread to nearby areas, the rate is about 76%, and if it is spread to distant parts, it's around 17%. Ewing sarcoma, which is rare in adults but more common in children and teenagers, has a five-year relative survival rate of around 50% to 58% for adults, though this can vary widely. The stage of the cancer at diagnosis also plays a significant role. Generally, the earlier the cancer is detected and treated, the better the survival rate. For example, if bone cancer is diagnosed when it is still localized, the survival rates are significantly higher compared to when it has spread to other parts of the body. In addition to the type and stage of the cancer, other factors such as your overall health, age, and how well the cancer responds to treatment can also affect your survival rate. Your doctor can provide more specific information based on your individual situation. Overall, while these statistics give a general idea of survival rates, it's important to remember that each person's situation is unique and many people live longer than the average survival rates suggest. Treatments are continually improving, which means people diagnosed today may have a better outlook than those diagnosed in the past.